Okay, so we are packing up my life or starting to pack up my life. I spent my stimulus check on this new camera that, uh, you know, has a nice mic up, uh, input or whatever. Well, I can't speak today. I'm a little frazzled today because it is day one of packing and we move in 12 days. But I cannot wait to finally film more in the new place and I will be vlogging more over there. And yeah, but now I'm not ashamed to show you my apartment and where I've lived for three years because it's like this is was my reality for three years but that's the main reason why I hardly vlogged in this apartment because when it was messy it was just it looked bad so I'm a little stressed out because I don't know where to start with packing I never do so I'm just gonna start in a corner I guess and we'll just start packing up my life slowly but surely I think these white boxes should be good for uh, movies like DVDs and books so let me tape up couple of these and we'll get started. <laughs> Okay, so we have four boxes taped up. I have some of these boxes from packages. I have these boxes from packages and stuff. So we have finally boxes to work with. I think what I'm gonna do is actually start in this corner because there's just a lot of little stuff that I need to pack up. My Harry Potter collection has been growing significantly. So I need to make sure that this is all packed together. So let's tackle this bookshelf first. This is the first thing I'm packing, my 2021 TBR list or books pile it's going in the box first. is done. So for my Harry Potter stuff, we're gonna be using some padding. Hopefully this will make it an easier move. We're only moving about five minutes away, so I'm not really concerned about it being too like protected. Um, obviously it needs to be somewhat protected because it's still moving in a car, but I'm not too worried about um, you know, breaking things and stuff like that. So we're gonna start with this on the bottom of the box, I guess. Somehow I ended up with three Snape wands. So now I just have three Snape wands. I don't wanna put those on the bottom though, cause they're gonna snap. By the way, let me know if one day you want like a Harry Potter stuff collection. It's like my random trinkets that I have for Harry Potter. seems to be pretty stable. I am leaving out Deathly Hallows because I'm reading um, Order or Half-Blood Prince right now and I might finish that before we actually do the move. So I wanna keep this out just so I have something to read after. Next, we're gonna tackle the DVDs. I think I'm gonna keep a couple out just in case I wanna watch them, but from now on, it's probably gonna be mostly Hulu, Netflix, all of that jazz, because I'm not gonna have access to my babies. <laughs>
Okay, don't mind me just watching Below Deck. This video is about to be real casual, hence the no makeup or anything, because I'm packing. I don't need to like put on makeup for packing and all that. And I don't want this video or like me filming my packing process to be a distraction from the actual packing because I need to get it done. Yesterday, I packed two boxes, only the rest of my Harry Potter book stuff and just like random stuff around, so. That's all I did yesterday. I was trying to make it like a whole filming packing day, but it, the sun set and I just didn't have light. So today we're actually gonna make a dent, hopefully on the packing process. So I'll show you where I made progress. I'm sorry I didn't film this, but we have a lot of bathroom trash because I went through under the sink. I just organized all of this and that side's Ryan, so I don't need to show you. But now I have very minimal like skincare and hair care, like that's all my hair care <laughs> besides what's in my shower. So I really condensed everything. We're actually gonna have less bathroom space in the new place. Um, so we won't be able to have the shelving up or like this piece of furniture over here, which I also went through and organized. So we're good to go in here. They just, they follow me everywhere. As for what I'm going to be packing today, I wanna to get a bunch of like random knick-knacky things, uh, like this stuff on this shelf. I just have like, I mean, Dumbledore's portrait. I don't know, I just have like random stuff that I need to throw into boxes. So I don't even know how I'm gonna film that. I need to pack like this candle, all these candle things over here. And yeah, we just, we have a lot to do still and we move, what's today, the 14th? We move in eight days. Eight days, almost a week, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I think I'm going to pack up most of the TV stand, which is from Target, by the way. I get asked that all the time. We got it from Target like over a year ago. So I'm gonna tape up more boxes and pack up this. It just has like board games down here. So I need to like pack up all of our board games, cards, all that stuff, and then just like random stuff. Yeah. This game, by the way, has been my new favorite board game to play. It's so good. If you can find this, get this. It's amazing. <laughs> I got in the mail. I know what this is though. This is a Prisoner of Azkaban mug. Very cute. Here, let's focus on the on the mug. Very cute. I think it's from Loot Crate. Owl Crate exclusive. So I got that on Depop because I don't have Owl Crate, but it's very cute. I like it. switch cameras at least for these next couple clips uh, because my batteries on my vlog camera died so if the quality goes up at all that's why I'm using my DSLR anyway today we're gonna be packing up the bedroom which I need to make progress on this today because I have not worked on this room at all but first I want to show you guys some things that we picked up at Target and TJ Maxx just for the apartment I thought I would throw in like little apartment stuff uh, in this video and then after this video goes up I will be doing like apartment hauls if I buy stuff for the apartment or like decorating videos and things like that but I just thought I would show you all the stuff we picked up for the new place. Firstly I found these storage bins at TJ Maxx for $14.99 for a set of two. I'm obsessed with the 
combination of like matte black and bamboo or natural wood it's like a lot of our stuff is going to be like in this kind of theme it already kind of is so i picked up two sets of two because we'll need some extra closet storage or these can go in our pantry i'm pretty sure we're going to have a pantry the thing is we have not toured a one bedroom at this place we've only looked at the model version of the two bedroom so i'm not sure I'm looking at pictures online and I'm pretty sure there's a pantry involved in the kitchen. I'm not 100%, but hopefully that would be nice. Obviously we will find out in six, uh, six days. We got an oven liner for our new oven so we don't have to clean like the bottom of it in case like stuff gets on the bottom. It's just like a whatever thing. Um, crushed ice tray from Target. Boring thing, we got a spackle nail hole filler because we like to put holes in our walls when we live somewhere because life is short. So put holes in the walls, like even if you're renting, obviously you can do like command strips and things like that, but we put big screws in the walls. I don't really care. I will pay for them to patch them, but we're gonna try our best to um, fill them ourselves. We won't be painting it, but we'll at least be able to fill the hole. I don't know. I wanted to get a new wok and throw my old one away because it's uh, chipping and all the like nonstick, it's like coming off and that's not good. So I'm excited. I make a lot of uh, garlic noodles. So this is just gonna make them even better. I saw these towels at Target for the kitchen and I just am obsessed with this color so I decided to pick these up and then some like formal napkins for when we have like his parents over or something. We'll have nice napkins because we normally just have napkins from fast food because we don't buy paper towels either uh, so we just give people uh, fast food napkins. So that's not very nice. <laughs> and then lastly, a boring laundry hamper or laundry basket because the washer dryer is indeed in the kitchen in this new place. And I like to have one of these to like transport clothes back and forth. So in case you never got a feel for our layout in our bedroom, it's kind of weird. And I don't know, I kind of like the bed because we have like this little area and then like the TV right there. It's obviously looking a mess right now. Um, here are the kids. Hey, so today we're going to be working on this bookshelf. So this is like what you see when you first come into the bedroom. I know it's weird, I know. So I'm gonna pack up all these books, everything I can in this kind of bookshelf situation here. <laughs> give you guys a quick update before we continue packing. So we took down the wine rack, the mirror, all the art pretty much everywhere. It's all just leading up right there. And then I patched some holes. You can't even see the holes. Like that stuff is magic. I'm so excited. But someone is actually on their way to pick up the nook today. We had to sell our breakfast nook or whatever kitchen table because the layout of the new place is just not going to work with like the back this is obviously meant for a corner we don't have a corner in the new place so we unfortunately had to sell our first piece that we ever bought together and it's very sad but hopefully it goes to a new home that loves it just as much as we have plus no offense but it's not really the vibe anymore it's not the uh color scheme i want uh we bought this when we didn't really know what we really wanted aesthetically for our apartment. Another update, I got rid of the clothing rack. So I gave that back to my mom. All the clothes are currently chilling on the love seat in here. So that's where we stand there. I took down this shelf, filled these holes. Again, you can't even see the holes, it's great. Today we'll be packing my desk with you and that's probably gonna be the last thing that I pack up for this video and the rest is just going to be off camera because I need to get stuff done and I just filming it can be kind of stressful, so hope you forgive me. Here is our dining area after. Looking very different. It's so weird. <laughs> Happy mom. Nice. 
10 points. Oh, good. All right, let's pack the desk. I'm gonna call it here for this packing vlog. I thought there would be multiple parts to this, but pretty much everything is packed except like random stuff that we still need out. Obviously before we move, like the kitchen, not even started on that. So that's gonna be a big project in and of itself. But I think that the, this is good enough for a packing vlog for you guys, because I just, I gotta focus from here on out. We move in four days and I could not be more excited and I hope you're excited for the moving vlog and the empty apartment tour coming up. I'm really happy that I get to document this journey and this big change for us and I hope you are enjoying it as well and coming along with us on this big change. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.